Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Jenny and this is Arnold the Praying Penguin. And today we wanted to take you along with us as we set up our bullet journal for 2022. We use this bullet journal for planning, for setting goals, for tracking all kinds of things. And we also use it to help us grow in our faith through Bible study and prayer, for example. This journal I'm using is the Dingbats A5 Dotted Notebook. I've used these for the last few years and this year I have the brown bear one, which is adorable. This journal and all the pens and resources I use will be linked down in the description. So let's get started with our first spread, which we do every year instead of a cover page really because I'm not artistic enough for that, but this is a 2022 in colour spread where we can track our moods for each day of the year. 2021 was the first year that I've really kept this up for the whole year, so I wanted to do that again for this year. So I've created the 2022 heading and a grid with 31 days down the side and space for the 12 months of the year. Then I have a key for the different moods I can choose from. This is mostly the same as last year, but with one new one. So we have orange for joyful, yellow for happy, blue for calm, light pink is the new one this year for meh, because I felt I needed something similar to calm, but a bit more neutral to negative. Then light green for anxious, dark green for sad, and red for frustrated. Last year, red was angry, but I never actually used it because even though I was definitely angry at times in the year, it was never like my main emotion of the day, which is how I kind of do this spread. And then finally, at the bottom, I've included Ecclesiastes 3 verse 4, which says, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, which I thought was really fitting for this spread. Here you can see what this spread looks like when it's used. I know it says 2020, but if you watched last year's setup, you might remember that I was terrible at writing 2021. So this is actually 2021's. The next spread is our future log, which I use for birthdays, holidays, big events, and other important dates that I need to remember. I don't have a ton of things to include in this, so this is definitely enough space for me with all 12 months on the double spread. I use these different colours to differentiate the seasons, so blue for winter, green for spring, orange for summer, although I did think this was going to be a bit more yellow than orange, but hey, and then red for autumn. Then we just add in the mini calendars, which takes far too long. And at the bottom we have another Bible verse for this page. This time it's Proverbs 3 verse 6. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Next up we have my 2022 goals page. I have a whole video up on my channel explaining my goals for 2022. So definitely check that out for how I plan Christian goals for the new year and also to hear these explained a bit more. But on this spread you'll see how I break these goals down so I can track them throughout the year. So goal one is to use a prayer journal weekly, so I have a grid of 52 squares and will mark a square for each week of the year that I use my prayer journal. Goal two is to study the Bible, so it has 12 circles to mark off. I haven't decided on which 12 books at this point, so I've just put in my first two, which are Joshua and Esther. Goal three and four are kind of similar, so we have preparing for baby, because I'm expecting a baby in February, and then maintaining friendships and relationships after baby. So these are kind of checklist style and I will add the specific things I want to do a bit nearer to the time. Goal 5 is a simple ticking off of the four modules in the course I'm completing. For goal 6, to write three sermons, I will add in the detail of the topic and the date each time I write a sermon and then colour in that circle. Goal 7 is to read 50 books and I will colour over each number as I read that many books. So every five books I read, I get to colour a number. Goal 8, I will colour in a circle for the blogs that I post each month. Goal 9 is similar to the books goal, but for subscribers here on YouTube. So every 50 subscribers I get to colour a number, which is really fun. So do hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos from me and Arnold. Goal 10, again here I just colour in a circle for each of the 10 modules in the BSL course. 
And then goal 11 is to start running and orienteering again after having a baby. So I've broken this down into go running, go orienteering, my first park run, and then four different times to reach at a park run. So I've got sub 42 minutes, sub 40 minutes, sub 38 minutes, and sub 36 minutes. Because I never said I was fast, I just want to start going again. This next spread is for another goal that I mentioned in my goals video, and it's my 22 in 2022 challenge, which this year will basically be fun things that I want to do with my baby before the end of the year. So both while I'm on maternity leave and when I go back to work as well. And this will be fun things like go to a farm, go to a toddler group, go to the beach. Just fun things that I want to do and can check off throughout the year. So we just have the title and then 22 boxes drawn out. I haven't filled in the different activities yet but I'm still planning them and I'll probably do a whole blog post for that at some point if you would like to see those. Okay, next we come to my Bible spreads. So I've done a few different methods for tracking my Bible study in my bullet journal before and I've never fully settled on anything that I love. So we're trying something new again this year. The main difference is that I wanted to split up my Bible reading where I just literally read through or listen to books of the Bible, just like any other book. And then my Bible study where I spend more time actually digging into scripture and what it's teaching. Personally, I think both of these are really important habits to be doing and I thought it would be helpful to track them separately. So, for Bible reading, I have made this grid with all of the books of the Bible and I will colour over each book when I've read it, so I can see how much of the Bible I've read. Then, I just included a Bible verse at the bottom of the page, which is Isaiah 40 verse 8. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. Then, over on the Bible study page, rather than plotting out every book in the Bible, which I know I won't be able to study the entire Bible in depth in one year, I'm just going to be plotting out the books as I study them. So if you saw my goals video, you'll know that I'm aiming to study 12 books of the Bible, and I have now planned the first two that I want to get to, which are Joshua and Esther. So for each of them, I've written the name of the book, and then drawn out a small grid so I can tick off each chapter of that book as I study it to see my progress. Obviously I haven't used this setup yet, but I'm really liking this concept and I'm looking forward to tracking my Bible reading and study in this way this year. Over the page we come to our prayer request spread. So this is where I keep a record of the things that I'm praying for throughout the year. It helps me to see what I've been praying for throughout that year and see how God has been answering those prayers too. So this year I've split it into eight different boxes. So we have one for me, one for my husband, one for my child. And then we have five for the categories of family, friends, community, which includes church community, work colleagues and other things happening in the local area too, and then country and world. So throughout the year I'll just bullet point my prayer requests under these headings and come back to this page to guide me in my prayers. Across the title in the middle I've included 1 Chronicles 16.11 which says, Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always as a good reminder to keep coming back to God, keep seeking him and keep praying. This next spread is another baby related spread, which obviously I've never had in my bullet journal before. So I'm really enjoying coming up with these ideas and creating these spreads. But this is a one year of blank spread. It's blank currently because I'm not sharing my baby's name until they're born. But then we have 11 boxes for the months of February through to December. Then throughout the year, in each box, I will add in things that we've done with our baby, different milestones, memorable moments and events, those kind of things I really want to remember. I am due towards the end of February, so there is a chance that baby won't be born until March if they're late. But February can also include anything about those last few weeks of pregnancy too. Okay, so these next few spreads are my reading trackers. I included these for the first time last year and really enjoyed tracking my reading so I wanted to continue doing that this year. This first spread is super simple and it's just a space for me to write down all the books that I read in the year and their star ratings. Then on this next page we have my around the world tracker. So this is a way for me to track both where in the world the authors I am reading are from and where in the world the books are set to see what parts of the world I'm missing and maybe need to find some books from those places. So I have a section for author and a section for setting. 
and I just add a dot against the right continent for each book that I read to create a bit of a bar graph. For author, I have left a bit of extra space for the UK and North America as they were the largest categories last year. And then this next page is my 25 before 25 tracker. I have a whole video about this challenge that I will link down in the description, but these are 25 books that I want to read before I turn 25. So I have another just over a year to go to complete this, and so far I've only ticked off about three books, so I definitely need to get reading some of these books this year. But it's very simple, just a list of the 25 books, and I will colour in the circle once I have read it. This page is possibly my most simple spread, and it's just my wish list, a space for me to keep a note of things that I want or need throughout the year, either so that I have ideas when people ask what I want for my birthday or for Christmas, or just so that I don't forget things that I need to get at some point. Across the page we have my gift card tracker. This is a spread I've included in my bullet journals for a few years now and I find it so helpful. It was also particularly useful during the pandemic when I had vouchers for restaurants for example but they were closed, so it was a very useful reminder to either request an extension if I needed to, or go to them when they did reopen before those vouchers expired. So I just write down what the gift card is, how much is on it, where I can spend it, and when it expires. Next we have my Parkrun Tracker, another spread that I've included in quite a few bullet journals now, although the last few years it has been interrupted by the pandemic, but I'm bringing it back again for me to use once I get back to running after having a baby. So it's a simple tracker for me to write down the date, the location of the parkrun, the time I did, and any notes, so if it was a course PB, or a parkrun milestone, or if it was particularly wet or snowing or anything interesting like that. I did mess up the spacings of this table because I could see the lines from the previous page just faintly through the page, so followed those rather than my pencil markings for this page, which was really dumb. But I think my brain was just falling asleep a little bit by this point, but it still works, just a little bit frustrating. And then my final spread for this setup is my Bible Verses of the Year page. I thought of this spread fairly late on, but I think I'm going to really appreciate it. Basically, I don't know about you, but I often find that there are different Bible verses that particularly stand out to me at different seasons of my life. They might be verses that I keep coming back to, or that I find particularly helpful in a certain situation. And I just think that this would be a really good space for me to write down those verses, to look back on how God has been speaking to me through his word, and how that has helped me throughout the year. So that is my whole setup for this year. Let's see the final flip through of the whole thing. I'm really happy with all of these spreads and I'm really looking forward to using them in 2022. I'm sure I will also add some more spreads and collections during the year. I've been thinking about doing some kind of spread to track my progress with my fundraising course in a bit more depth, but I'm not really sure how to do that yet, so that one might come a bit later. But we really hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe got some ideas for setting up your own Christian bullet journal. Do let us know down in the comments what are your favourite spreads from this setup, or what spread ideas do you have for your bullet journal, because I always love hearing other people's spread ideas. If you enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and Arnold. But for now I hope you have a wonderful new year and we will see you again on Saturday for our very first video of 2022. Bye!